Hey guys, Ash here from C4D Tech and today we're going to be focusing on reading between the lines with respect to smartphone display sizes. What do I exactly mean here? Well, let me explain. Let's say you're someone who likes to, say, watch TV shows on Netflix or Amazon Prime or say you enjoy streaming games to your phone. Now, these are all basically 16 by 9 content a lot of times. Now, say you're shopping around for a phone and you see two phones with the same size display. For example, let's take the Xperia 5 Mark IV and the Galaxy S22. If you check the spec sheets, they both read 6.1 inch OLED. But the aspect ratios, they're different. Well, the Galaxy S22 has a more regular by today's standards 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio panel. Sony opts for a 21 by 9 panel. Now the question here is, how do they compare? What's the, ki what's the kind of size difference you can expect for watching TV shows or streaming console games? Now another example, let's say you are someone who radly upgrades your phone and you're still rocking a Xiaomi Mi Max 2 from 2017. Now that phone has a 6.44 inch display. And say you love watching Netflix on it. And now you come across a listing, you're looking to upgrade, you're looking at used phones, you come across a listing that says 7.2 inch display, Mate 20X, the phone launched in 2019, it seems to have better specs, should you upgrade? What kind of extra screen real estate are you gonna get for your use cases, given that that's 7.2 inches, but 18.7 by 9. How do we actually compare them? A few years back, it was all quite simple. Want a larger screen? Buy the device with a larger display size, because it was all more or less 16 by 9. These days though, it kind of gets more confusing because we have a multitude of aspect ratios and screen size numbers. They, 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 they seem to be increasing all the time. Now my fix for this is I actually ended up coming across a website that lets you compare these. It's very straightforward, very easy to use, and it's it's pretty pretty cheap too. In fact, you can use the code C4ETech to get 95%. Okay, you know what? I'm just messing with you. It's just a website. There are no charges. So go on to displaywars.com. Let me start by showing you how how we would go about comparing the first uh, comparing in the first scenario that I was talking about, the Xperia 5 Mark IV versus the Galaxy S22. First, we check the specs of these phones on their official sites so or compare them on GSM Arena. Either way, when you do this, just make a note of the resolutions and the screen sizes. Remember the resolutions we see here, they are for a phone when the phone is this way, vertical. But in this case, we are trying to compare how the displays stack up when we use them horizontally in landscape. So here on displaywars.com, let's start with the Xperia. Here, select other. And we're gonna take the vertical resolution and swap it. So instead of 1080 by 2520, we are gonna enter 2520 by 1080 and then select the screen size as 6.1 inches. Now for the S22, we again select other and based on the S22 specs, we are gonna enter the resolution. Of course, we are gonna swap it again. So 2340 by 1080, yet again 6.1 inches. Now hit compare. Now you can actually see how these screens look on top of each other. And if you scroll down, you can find some interesting stats. Now, if you are gonna use these phones to view 16 by 9 content predominantly, you get a larger screen with the S22, so roughly 13% more viewing area. Also, isn't this kind of weird? These days we see display sizes growing, six inches plus has become the norm, and even the overall phone size is increasing all the time, but the actual area for the most common aspect ratio with TV and console games, Anyway, if you are curious and end up checking out what kind of screen real estate you get for 16 by 9 content on your phone, let me know what's your 16 by 9 screen size and of course, what phone you're using. Anyways, let's move on to the second example that I talked about. This one's a lot more interesting. Once again, let's go to GSM Arena, search for the Mi Max 2, hit compare, select the Mate 20X, scroll down to display and make a note of the information here. On the Display Wars website, let's change the values. Remember to swap the resolutions. 1920 by 1080 for the Mi Max 2, 6.44 inches as the screen size. 2244 by 1080 for the Mate 20X with 7.2 inches on the diagonal. Hitting compare. And now if you see for regular 16 by 9 content, you actually lose screen real estate going from the Mi Max 2 to the Huawei Mate 20X because it is going from a 16 by 9 screen to an 18.7 by 9 screen. Fun fact, the Mi Max 2 has the largest 16 by 9 display, uh, display area amongst all phones, at least as far as I know. If you know of any other phone that has a larger display area for 16 by 9 content, let me know in the comments. Again, I mean actual 16 by 9 display area, not just display size numbers. Anyways, coming back to this comparison, if your use case is more watching movies, 21 by 9 stuff, of course you gain almost an inch of screen real estate with the Huawei. So given all the different aspect ratios these days, this has been a very useful tool for me. Ever since I got hooked onto streaming games onto my phones from other devices, I've been using this all the time and I thought I'd shoot a quick little video to share, share this information with you guys. 
Now before we wrap, here's something I found super interesting. See this setup? This is a ROG Phone 60 Ultimate with a Kunai Gamepad 3 and it's got a 6.8 inch display. Of course, apart from that, it also has that fast, super fast Dimensity 9000 Plus SoC, but that's not what we're talking about. So this is a 6.8 inch display, the Logitech G Cloud, if you guys have seen it, it's got a seven inch display, 16 by nine, of course. So how, I mean, uh, we understand that there's a different aspect ratio and everything, but just to j just be honest, think about it for a minute and tell me, for 16 by nine content, how much more display surface area do you think we'd end up getting with a seven inch G Cloud? Just guess, you don't even have to leave a comment or anything, I'm not doing this for engagement. Just think about it in your head for a moment, a quick second, seven inch 16 by nine, 6.8 inch longer aspect ratio. How many percentage more are you gonna get with a seven inch? The answer is 57%. Now, of course, the G Cloud, it's got an old Snapdragon 720G SoC, so anything Android, the ROG will annihilate it, but for streaming, 57% more. That's quite something. Anyways, I guess that's it. If you found this video interesting or useful or both, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you are a returning subscriber, hit that bell icon please so that you have a chance to be notified when I post a new video. And with that, it is time for me to bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.